This is the beginning of the Computing Science and Primary Learning Pathway, where we will completely focus on getting started in computing science, why we should teach computing science, and what computing science looks like in the world around us. This learning pathway also builds on the excellent early learning and childcare computing science learning pathway that you can also find in this blog. And together, these both form a great progression of learning in computing science across our broad general education. So I just want to give you a brief overview of some of the content that we're going to be covering in this learning pathway. So we'll be looking at, as I said, why are we teaching computing science? What is its relevance and importance in the world around us and to our education system? We'll also be taking a deep dive into our computing science uh, curriculum, what do the experiences and outcomes mean to us and how can we embed it across other areas of the curriculum? We will focus particularly on computational thinking and what it is and again how we can embed that across our curriculum. Um, there will also be a strong focus on being able to ensure that you can find the best resources um, for your learning and for your learners uh, in computing science uh, and what those resources look like and how we can use them. Um, you will also be able to see some practitioner uh, exemplification and how teachers are embedding computing science into their learning and teaching and what those results look like. So I'd really like to set the scene of what computing science technology looks like in the world around us. And I'd like to start with some global interesting facts. This is a really good way to start the computing science discussions with your learners. Do more people own a toothbrush or a mobile phone? So it was the Mobile Marketing Association of Asia who made this claim. And when I first heard about it, I was like, surely more people own a toothbrush than a mobile phone. But there has been a great deal of research put into this um, over the years. And unfortunately, 5.1 billion people own a mobile phone and only 4.2 billion people own a toothbrush. Again, showing how important technology is in our lives. So your smartphone is millions of times more powerful than NASA used to go to the moon in 1969. This is an amazing fact to share with your learners. And again, linking up to our topic of space. Google processes two trillion searches per year. And again, that just shows us how important the technology is to us to be able to access information. But what lies behind that technology is really important. Mashable is the world's most profitable blog and it was created here in Scotland by a 19 year old. That's really, really important. Again, sharing the relevance of computing science with your learners. And it's not all about other people creating and uh, delivering computing science. It's people here. It's people in our own schools. It's learners who are sitting in front of you that will be the creators and the innovators of technology. So what sh technology should we be ready for in 2021? Artificial intelligence. How often do we speak about artificial intelligence to our learners or to our colleagues? And yet we practically use that on a daily basis without probably even realising it. Robotics, drones, vehicle automation, 5G, enhanced connectivity, extended reality, virtual augmented reality. And what's really, really important is with all of this technology in the world around us, how cyber resilient are we? How knowledgeable are we in this world of keeping ourselves safe, reactive, and how can we respond to cyber threats? And all of this is a really, really good context to set the scene with your learners or practitioners about why computing science is so important and will have such a massive impact on all our lives. And it's hugely important that our learners see the relevance um, in their lives and how they can make a difference. So computing science is in the world all around us. And what does that look like on a daily basis and how is it impacting all of our lives? And are we recognizing that as computing science? And these are really important questions to be asking your learners. How has computing science impacted on your day to day? 
How will it impact on your day tomorrow? And what will that look like in 10 years time? What will computing science do for your life and your world in 10 years time? And again, more importantly, will your learners be at the forefront of creating that technology in 10 years time? And do you know any famous computer scientists? So again, setting the global context of computing science, um, I want to focus on developing our young workforce and looking at the World Economic Forum and what are the top job skills for the future. So by 2025, there will be 85 million jobs displaced by a shift in the division of labour between humans and machines. 50% of all employees will need reskilling by 2025 as the adoption of technology vastly continues to increase even further than it already has done today. So this is all according to the World Economic Forum's Future of Jobs. Critical thinking and problem solving top the list of skills employers believe will grow in prominence in the next five years. And the next part of this learning pathway where we are particularly focusing on computational thinking will be of great interest to you, particularly linking this to the top 10 skills of 2025 and how technology and computational thinking is embedded and runs throughout this. So setting the scene across the Scottish context, and we all understand that the experiences of young children have in today's modern world will vastly differ from the experiences you had as a practitioner when you were growing up, especially in terms of digital technology. So if we're looking at the digital skills here in context in, in Scotland, um, I, I don't think it's going to be a surprise to you that the technology sector is the fast and growing sector in Scotland. Um, 100,000 people currently employed, 13,000 new jobs being created each year until 2020, and that is obviously now accelerating into 2021. It contributes 5.25 billion to the Scottish economy, 
a great average salary, 37,500. And this area in particular is really important to be sharing this knowledge and information with your parents, with your, uh, with the community of the school to ensure that they understand the importance and the relevance of computing science. Um, what's not so good is how underrepresented females are within our industry. And again, it's hugely important that you spend some time having a look at the video, having a look at the bite size uh, video within this learning path on unconscious bias and how it's really, really important to ensure that computing science is open and welcoming to everybody. This is also a really great activity to share with your learners. So looking at the job sector, looking at developing our young workforce across Scotland, can we name a job today where technology is not at the heart of that job? Um, in previous sessions that I've run, I've had people say, well, you know, if you're a gardener, you don't need to use technology. Well, you know, you probably have to create a website. You probably have to respond to emails. So it's actually very, very important that you have a good knowledge of computing science and a good digital knowledge in taking that forward. So that's really important to spend some time having a look at the career pathways, what's happening in the community around you, what's happening in your local authority that's really, really important and really where, where digital and computing science is embedded throughout those careers. Bring people in from the industries within your community to speak to your learners. That's hugely important because when we're talking about the relevance of computing science, that is happening in the world around you, but it's happening in the community around you that's really, really important to share with your learners. So computing science, as I said, is an incredibly important, exciting and inspiring area of our curriculum. And if there's one takeaway from computing science that I really want you all to remember is that computing science is incredibly creative. It's not just about consuming the technology, sitting down, watching, looking what someone else has produced. It's all about being the creator of the technology and really leading the way. And again, it's not all about just sitting in front of a computer and coding and programming. It's all about being able to plan, prepare and problem solve and work together. Computing science is an incredibly exciting and inspiring area of the curriculum. And it is essential that teachers and learners across Scotland benefit from the wealth of opportunities offered by the subject. We have these three very exciting experiences and outcomes. Understanding the world through computational thinking. So all that problem solving, all that abstraction, decomposition, breaking problems down into more manageable parts to solve these big world problems. Understanding and analysing computing technology. How does that technology work? It's important that we ask those questions. It doesn't happen just by magic. How do those doors open when we uh, walk into a supermarket? How do those traffic lights change? Well, someone has created a program. Someone has problem solved. Someone has been behind that. A team of people have been behind that working together. And then the designing, building and testing computing solutions, that coding and programming and making things happen, which is hugely creative and hugely inspiring. And it's incredibly important that we link computing science into other subject areas and we see those links with maths and numeracy, literacy, expressive arts, sciences, social subjects. And it's important that we show the relevance to all learners that computing science is for them, particularly linking it to subjects that are popular with females, such as literacy, social subjects, um, expressive arts, but that computing science is for everyone. I thought it was also important to share with you how computing science fits into how good is our school in the area of 3.3 and I'll give you some time just to read the slide. So I just want to end this part of the learning pathway there and we're going to then move on to what is computational thinking. But I want you to take some time to reflect on all of the information 
that you have taken in during this part of the, the, the learning pathway, particularly focusing on what does computing science look like in the world around us and why it's so important that we teach computing science.